Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss types of buttons. There are four different types of buttons that you can create in HTML normally. First one we have already seen that is a submit button and we understood why we create submit button. If user clicks on the submit button, we know that information field in the form is going to be submitted or sent to the server or processing page. That is the purpose of creating submit button. Then another type is reset button. We know what is the purpose of reset button. Reset button is used to reset the form back to its normal state. And if you see both submit button and reset button are buttons. You can very clearly see that there are two buttons we have here. Another two types of buttons are image button and normal button. Let me discuss about them step by step. To create an image button, we are going to use the same input tag and type we are going to mention is image. Instead of reset or submit, we write image. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that it is displaying submit query, which is the default text of a submit button. Hope you guys remember that if I don't give here value as a submit, control X, control save, go to browser and refresh, the button is going to have normally submit query, control Z, file, save, go to browser and refresh, we have here submit text. Here you can see it is displaying submit query as a text. Now where is the image actually? We have given type image, right? Actually in this place you can think like there is an image which has the background set to white color and in the foreground we have a text submit query which is of black color. Creating an input type image is same as the submit button. Now image button is exactly same as the submit button. The purpose of creating the image button is to submit the form to processing page. But difference between submit button and the image button is instead of displaying a button, user can display an image according to his requirement. You can see here, I have an image created with the name submit and its file extension is .jpg. I can display this image instead of a button or a text that it is displaying here submit query. I am going to use an attribute called as src and then I have to give here image name that is submit.jpg file save go to browser refresh you can see that now it is displaying submit image you can use any other attribute that you have learned in image tag I can set a border if I want border equal to maybe 3 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that now we have a border around the image button and when I move the mouse cursor on the image button it is displaying like a hyperlink. If I click on the submit button this form is going to be submitted to the processor.html page. Correct or not? If I click on the submit button you can see that it is moving to processing page. Similarly if I click on submit button it is going to move to processing page. Submit button and the image button both are same. The difference is we can use our own image instead of displaying a button. Hope you guys have understood what is the difference between submit button and image button. You can even mention width and height for this image button. Maybe I want to give 200 pixels and height I give H E I G H T. Height is equal to 80 pixels. And I, if I say file save go to browser and refresh and refresh you can see that now I have an image which is of size 200 by 80. I am going to remove the width and height file save go to browser and refresh. Let's see whether we can be able to apply the width and height here 200 pixels width h e i g h t height is equal to 80 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the button width and height is not changing. You cannot change the width and height of a button. So you have more control here and also you can use your own favorite image that you want as a button. 
you can use any image editing software to create an image and use that image in this place now you have more control on displaying or creating a submit button another type of button is a normal button a normal button is not going to used as a submit button it is just used to execute some functions in a javascript code to create a normal button we use same input tag input then we use the type attribute value for the type attribute is just button forward slash greater than file save go to browser refresh you can see that the button got displayed and it has no default text like submit query or submit query like that it just empty now if i click on that you can see that form is not getting submitted normal button is used as i told it is used to execute functions in javascript or you can say event handlers in javascript we can give value what text we want to display maybe i give here add if i say value add file save go to browser and refresh you can see that i am getting the text as add i can write if i want i can write submit also s u b m i t submit file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it is displaying submit but it won't submit normal button is not meant for submitting forms you can write the normal button outside the form also there is no problem in that it is not related to form it is not a form element guys normal button is not a form element it is uh, used to execute some functions of javascript we are going to discuss about this button when we learn javascript whereas submit button and image button both are same they both are meant for submitting the form to processing page or the server submit button will display a button whereas image button is going to display an image and reset button is going to display the button it is meant to reset the form hope you guys have understood what is the difference between submit button reset button image button and normal button and you must and should remember that submit reset and image buttons must and should be used within the form tag for this tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share in the next tutorial we get more information on html thank you guys thank you very much keep learning keep coding keep sharing